Hello, my name is Benedict Cumberbatch and I'm going to be reading Three Little Monkeys by Quentin Blake and illustrated by Emma chichester Clark, two of my favourites. It's part of Save With Stories, an enterprise by Save The Children to help families that have been hit hardest during the coronavirus crisis. If you can give any money to the charity Save The Children, please do, and details of how to do so will be at the end of this film. Save The Children are helping children both here in the UK and abroad and around the world. And now, three little monkeys. Hilda Snibs came into the hall and closed the door. I'm home, she called. Where are you? Now, some people have dogs and some people have cats, but Hilda Snibs. Hilda Snibs had three little monkeys. Their names were Tim and Sam and Lulu. Hilda fed them on slices of carrot and apple and banana and worried about their health. They were very lively. One morning, Hilda took her shopping basket and went to buy some bananas. Be good while I'm away, she said. When she had gone, Tim and Sam and Lulu soon felt bored. So they crept into the hall cupboard to see what they could find to play with. They threw everything into the hall. They tried to open the umbrellas. They climbed into the Wellington boots. They pulled the laces out of the shoes. And they pulled all the feathers out of Hilda's best hat. When Hilda came home, she found the most dreadful mess. There were feathers all over the place and her poor hat. I'm really very disappointed in such naughty little monkeys, she said. Tim and Sam. And Lulu looked at her with their big, round eyes and said nothing. The next day, Hilda went out to buy a new hat. Make sure you are good while I am away, she said. When she had gone, the three little monkeys soon began to feel bored. So they went into the sitting room to see what they could find to play with. They emptied the waste paper basket. They tore up the newspapers. They tipped over the flower vase. Then they found Hilda's knitting and they clambered all over the furniture with it until it was tied in knots. When Hilda came home and went into the sitting room, she found the most awful mess. There were flowers all over the place and her poor knitting. <gasps> she clutched it to her and wailed. What have I done to deserve these wretched little monkeys? Tim and Sam and Lulu looked at her with their big round eyes and said nothing. The next day, Hilda took her shopping basket and went out to buy some more wool. And remember to be good while I am away, she said. When she'd gone, the three little monkeys soon began to feel bored. So they went into the kitchen to see what they could find to play with. They pulled out all the scrubbing brushes out of the cupboard. They emptied the cleaning powder on the floor. They got into the pedal bin and threw out all the potato peelings. And they tipped a saucepan of soup all over the kitchen floor. When Hilda came home, she found the most appalling mess. There were brushes and potato peelings all over the floor and her soup. Hilda banged the saucepan on the top of the stove and shouted, Great grief! How long can I put up with these dreadful little monkeys? Tim and Sam and Lulu looked at her with their big round eyes and said nothing. The next morning, Hilda took her basket and went out to buy a tin of soup. And be absolutely sure that you are good while I'm away, she said. When she'd gone, the three little monkeys soon began to feel bored. So they crept up the stairs and into the bathroom to see what they could find to play with. They unrolled the toilet paper. They squeezed the toothpaste. They nibbled the soap and didn't like it. They poured Hilda's favourite shampoo into the basin. When Hilda came home, she went upstairs to the bathroom to wash her hands. She found the most dreadful, most unbelievable mess. There was toilet paper and water and soap suds all over the floor. And her poor shampoo. Hilda gave a screech. She tore her hair and rolled her eyes. She cried. Oh, for a peaceful life without these wicked little monkeys. The next day, Hilda had to go and see her mother, who is in bed with a bad cold. Mm. And don't forget, you must, must be very good while I'm away. It was late in the evening when Hilda came home. She looked round the hall and everything was neat and tidy. 
but where were the three little monkeys? She looked into the sitting room. There was her knitting on the chair and the newspapers in a neat pile, but Tim and Sam and Lulu were nowhere to be seen. What can become of them? Hilda said to herself. What can have become of them? Hilda said to herself. She went into the kitchen. Everything was clean and shining and in its proper place, but there was no sign of the three little monkeys. Oh dear, said Hilda, this is very worrying. What can have happened to them? She went upstairs to the bathroom. Everything was clean and shining and in its proper place, but there was no sign at all of the three little monkeys. This is dreadful, said Hilda, and she gave way to despair. The tears rolled down her cheeks. She tried to dab them with her handkerchief, but there were still lots that dripped onto the floor. Soon her handkerchief was soaking wet. She went to the cupboard to get a dry one. And there were Tim and Sam and Lulu. They looked at her with their big round eyes and said nothing. Oh my goodness, said Hilda, you naughty little monkeys. That night, when Hilda went upstairs to bed, she went upstairs to bed with a happy heart. And as she slid between the sheets, she discovered all the spoons and forks from the kitchen and three tins of sardines in tomato sauce. But that is the sort of thing you have to expect if you have three little monkeys. The end. <laughs>